y'all. This is again, Hill Farmstead, Anna. And you're probably wondering, yo, why do you keep doing these Hill Farmstead reviews? I mean, come on, it's Hill Farmstead, like I said. Definitely one of the most sought after breweries in the world. Um, they drop some fire, fire beers, things that I, me, this is me, this is my stuff that I appreciate because I can't speak for everybody, but I know that they're highly recommended, highly sought after, so that says a lot about them. But they drop a lot of good stuff. This is their um, Vermont Honey Ale. So, I don't know, man. We're going to see what this is hitting on. As usual, when it's one of these um, bottles that, or brews that's named after a family member, it's normally very simplistic artwork on here, like as you can see right here. So, not much going on. But still, I think even then, that's that that's, you know says a lot. It leaves a lot to the imagination. A lot of times, you don't need artwork to draw you in. Um, and it can say a lot about a beer and sometimes you do need something to draw you in. All right, before I crack it, hold on. What's the ABV on here? Uh, 6.2%. So I already know this is going to be some crushable, something I can enjoy. And, uh, yeah, they, they ain't playing. They never play around with these caps. There we go. Something I can enjoy and, you know, just have a good time with it and appreciate. So we're just gonna get right into it. Let's see how that pours. Ooh. Man, that's like champagne, for real. Crystal clear, carbonation coming up on here. Beautiful white head that just formed at the top. Just straight up champagne right here, like, god damn. Champagne, a lager or something like that. Crystal, like almost crystal clear. You can see um all the carbonation in here at the top y'all can't see because it's the camera i'm gonna probably do another shot later on of it but it's beautiful absolutely beautiful golden it reminds you of um old school old school uh beers that i used to see in the hood like a miller high life or coke 45 that's what it reminds me of you know when i had one one or two family members that might pour it in a glass because most of them drunk it straight out the bottle you know it had a skirt on there if you know what a skirt is you already know if you know you know but anyways um this right here is looking very beautiful again it's crisp clear um slightly 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 some some haze to there so i'm gonna see what i get on the nose okay that sour funky tartness um dry wine sort of nose champagne-ish and some sweetness too it's probably the honey so let's see. I'm going to taste it. Citrusy, floral, aromatic, um, dry on the back end. Some sweetness too, actually. You can actually taste that sweetness. It has like a it reminds you of like a, uh, if you've ever had a, a honey blossom or orange blossom honey, it reminds you of that, where it's a slight citrus um, taste to it. That's what this makes me think of. Um, extremely crisp, very smooth, very crushable. But most of all, I'm getting wine notes. And actually, this makes you think it's like a, a lemon or grapefruit peel or something like that, like some sort of citrus um, fruit that you have just took the zest off of. That's, again, this is my profile. I can't speak for everybody else. This is what I'm tasting on here. Yeah, definitely. And it smells too a little bit like a lager. Like when you smell it, you're getting like lagerish sort of notes on there. That dry sort of smell, that maltiness sort of smell. It's, it's there subtly. Not too strong, but subtly. Man, it's crazy good. And now on the back end, I'm tasting it. That honey. Sweet. It's very, very, very balanced with that. I think personally that draws it all together. Now, this bottle was bottled. November 13th of 2019, almost two years old now. 
So, you already know this joint is, is definitely hidden. Definitely held up well. Probably matured. Had different notes on there. Yeah, I'm tasting citrus. I'm tasting honey. I'm tasting zest. I'm tasting some floral, aromatic sort of notes. This is just a solid, solid beer. Again, this is not... This ain't for everybody. You got to appreciate this. This is like drinking fine wine or something. Like, somebody might break out a $2,000 bottle of wine. Nobody that I know, but I'm just saying hypothetically. And I might be like, yo, what the what the hell is that? Like, I ain't, I don't drink that. You know what I mean? They, to them, it might be fire. But to me, I may be like, nah, I don't mess with that. Because I know how I like my wine. I'm the same way with beer. Over my, my years of drinking it, I've grown to know what I appreciate and know what I like. And these right here, I fuck with them, baby. I love them, love them, love them. And I appreciate it because I can't get my hands on them often. Maybe if I lived in Vermont, I might be like, yeah, it's whatever. It's a diamond dozen. But now nah, I don't live in, in Vermont. I'm in New York. I'm in Buffalo, so... It is what it is. But um this joint, two thumbs up. Random, man. You just get to it. This is two thumbs up for fire. They normally keep this around when I look at their menu online and stuff. This is around pretty much most of the year from what I see. You can always come and you know get a bottle or some bottles if you're in the area. They do not ship. This is one of those breweries that you gotta go and get it. It is what it is. And it's worth the trip because it's beautiful over there. It's um no cell phone service. I'm gonna tell you that right now. You not your cell phone ain't working over there. You could get it. If you if it does work, I'm surprised. And I got Verizon and my shit did not work over there. And I went once. I had no bars, nothing. It's a uh dirt road, you know what I mean? Like nothing but open hills and all that stuff. It just it takes you back, like as you're driving up to the brewery. So this right here just fits perfectly with that. It gives you all of that right there. And if you've been there, you know, you already know what I'm talking about. But like I said, this brew gets two thumbs up. I'm loving it. I'm about to sip a little more and see what else I got. Probably be still the same thing. Yeah, not much has changed. White wine, possible champagne. And I say champagne based upon the color, et cetera, and some of the slight notes I get on there. Not the carbonation. It's not heavily carbonated. This is very smooth, easy drinker, um, extremely crushable. I wouldn't recommend it because something like this, you're trying to enjoy, you want to have a good time with, you want to possibly share, if anything, and just overall um, enjoy it as it as you drink it and sip on it. This is not something that you drink fast. Again, for the third time, two thumbs up. It is what it is. Um, as always, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, show some love to your boy. Again, Hill Farmstead, shout out to y'all for putting out fire stuff. I got some people that's going to be there to pick up some stuff for me eventually. So I'm happy I'll be having constant supply of this. But um, if y'all guys are new to my channel, make sure y'all show love. Thank you to everybody that always comes through and shows love, leaves comments and stuff. I see y'all. I appreciate each and every one of y'all that comes by. Because even if I'm not the person that... Um, I'm speaking to, or you might not be the person I'm speaking to, but it's reaching somebody. So I appreciate everybody for stopping by as always. Cheers to everybody out there drinking good beer. And it gotta be good beer because we don't drink that bullshit. And to the next time I see y'all, stay safe, be healthy. Peace.